Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be trying out Lemon OS for the very first time. So this is meant to be a hobby operating system. So yeah, let's get started right now. I'm just going to go and click on this um, icon over there to, to go to their GitHub page. And then from there I should see a link that will take you to the nightly images. Just click on it and go to the latest nightly build. Click on to assets and download the lemon.img.zip and that should give you the um, image to be able to run them an operating system. Okay, so it looks like I'm currently on the bootloader. I'm gonna go ahead and select Lemon OS. Let's go ahead and boot up. Welcome to Lemon OS. Press the lemon in the corner to access the launch menu. Search for applications in the top box. Notable applications include audio player, text editor, and a terminal. Okay, let's go ahead and exit from it. Let me click on the start menu, which is right over there. And you guys should be able to search up for any application. So for example, if I search up for Doom, as you guys can see, it displays Lemon Doom. I'm going to get rid of it. So that basically means that for search functionality is fantastically working well. Okay, let's go ahead and select Audio Player. What, the, what is so amazing about this um, software is that we should be able to select more than one audio track. So if I have like a folder full of audio tracks, just select the folder and just um, select insert and that will just um, play all, the, um, all of the audios um, that is within the actual um, within the folder. So that's pretty nice. So we, just have, so we don't have to just do them one at a time. We can just grab an entire folder and just use all of the songs that's within this folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up one single file. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up to Doom and there's Doom one dot red. I'll go ahead and select this one. Um, it failed to load, but that's totally fine. So once I have it working, we should be able to pause the music by clicking on the pause button. We guys can go ahead and play it and I should play it and stop or stop the music from playing. We guys can do a previous track or to the next track. They should come in their list down over here. And you guys can also press on the shovel and that will basically play the music randomly. So it's very basic. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the audio player. I'll now go ahead and see what the device manager is all about. Okay, so I would assume that it would just show up all of the devices that's currently connected to the system and it's not displaying anything, so. I think that is something that they're currently working on. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of it. Let's go ahead and check out the file manager. Okay, so this is a file manager, it looks very basic. We can open up any um, files and any folders that wanna open up. So yeah, we just double click on all of these folders. You can go back to a root directory by click on this dot folder. Um, yeah, it's basically a very um, simple file manager. And it works perfectly well. I'm going to close out of the file manager. I'll go back to the taskbar and now I'm going to be trying out the GUI test, which should show up all of the buttons as well as the text and all the graphics, as you guys can see. So we can see what um, how it basically looks. How it should look with those buttons as well as the search box. So that's pretty cool. Let me close out of it. Let me go back to the taskbar. Let's go ahead and play some Lemon Doom. Um, so if I click onto them and Doom, it just opens up to Doom. Let me click onto Do um, Knee Down In For Dead. Uh, select I'm Too Young To Die, and I should be able to move around. Um, I can't shoot, I don't know why, but as you guys can see, I'm able to play Doom. So basically Doom runs without any issues at all, as you guys can see. But I still don't know how to shoot. <laughs> But as you guys can see, it's performing pretty well. I'll go ahead and exit by selecting quit game. Why, yes. Okay, let's go back to the taskbar. I will now select image for. If we double click on it, it will ask you to open up to a um, image file. So I'm gonna click on to lemon. I will click onto Lemon D. Actually, let me go back. I will go ahead and select resources maybe. Yep, 
it's in resources i was to go ahead and select banner.png and now as you guys can see it is working perfectly fine because it displays the um the banner we guys can go to file and we guys can click on to open and that will open up to another um, image we guys can click on to view and we guys can select no scaling we guys can select um fit image or fill image so let me go ahead and select fill image as you guys can see it fills up the entire screen um, let me go back to view. I can also select fit and manage, which made a clone. And you guys can also select no scaling, and that also create another clone. But it works perfectly fine. But I wish it didn't create any clones. Um, but it's but it's looking pretty nice. The functionality is very easy, um, but it does have issues with a few system. But overall, it's working perfectly well. I'm gonna go ahead and exit from the manage for. I'm gonna go back to the taskbar. I will now go ahead and select the Lemon monitor, which should display the resources that is in the background, as well as how much of a CPU is being used up, the memory that is being used up, and how long these processes was running for. So this is pretty simple. But it is a advantage that we won't be able to kill off any processes within this um, Lemon monitor. Um, so if something becomes unresponsive, we won't be able to, um, to exit from the application. Okay, let's go back to the taskbar and let's go ahead and play some Minesweeper, our classic Minesweeper game. And now this is the game. So basically, you need to click on these boxes and make sure you don't hit a bomb. And I did hit a bomb and it says game over. If we go to game and you select different difficulty, for example, if it's harder, then the board will get bigger. And if you click on to play hard, it does get harder because the board is bigger and we'll get more bombs. And you can obviously um, click on this board. But it says game over automatically because <laughs> I'm just so bad at Minesweeper that literally just takes one click for me just to fail. But yeah, this is Minesweeper, and you guys can change the difficulty, and you guys can just play it. It's very simple. Okay, let me go back to the taskbar, and they also have a snake game. So let me go ahead and select for snake game. And now, as you guys can see, I have died because I hit a wall. Press on the enter key and we should be able to play snake again once you have died. I know we died again. <laughs> I was actually pro at snake. I used to play it on my old Nokia phone when I was like um, 12. I was addicted to it actually. <laughs> but yeah, this is the simple snake game. Lemon OS. As this is meant to be like a lemon should have themed operating system, why is the white ball um, not a lemon? Why can't the snake eat lemons, you know? That's something I would improve on, just to keep up with the theme, you know? But apart from it, it's running pretty well. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the other application and we'll be trying out for system information and I would assume that it just shows up um, what version we're running of Lemon OS. It looks like we're running the alpha and it shows up the total system memory and how much of it is being used up but it doesn't show up anything like um, the CPU or what graphics card you're using. It just shows up um, some basic information um, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it. And I'll go back to the taskbar and I'll be trying out the text editor before I do try out the terminal. So the text editor will allow you to write down a new um, document. So I can type down something completely random here so I can do something like, um, oh wait, I can't use capital letters. Okay, that's a shame. Um, you could do something like hello world. I am, and I can create a new line, John Stedman. I can go ahead and we'll click on to file and I can click on to save as and I can call it whatever I want to call it. So I can call this one um, getting away dot maybe txt as an extension. Click on to OK and that should allow me to save it, which it ain't for some random reason. Um, it's not saving. Hmm. OK, I think that might be a bug. Let me cancel of it. 
um, invalid file path. Okay, let me go ahead and save it. Um, I'm going to call this one um, hello. Oh, wait, maybe if I click on to okay. Um, I just keep on getting invalid file path error message. Let me go back to file. Let me save it and I can maybe overwrite the um, hello.py file. Okay. So now if I go ahead and um, close all of it, if I go back to the um, text editor, if I go ahead and file and open up the um, hello.py, as you guys can see, it was able to be saved. But as I was unable to create a new file, so I had to overwrite the Python script. Hopefully this does get fixed in the future, but it's very simple and I love it so much. <laughs> Just how simple it is to use. I'm going to close all of it and now I'll be trying out the terminal. And the terminal actually has an ill fetch um, sort of style to it. So if I write down something like lemon fetch, as you guys can see, we have something quite similar to ill fetch. It shows up what the operating system is, the uptime for CPU, the memory, the window manager for window manager theme, the resolution, and the terminal. We can also do something like Neilan cat. And that will should show up the um hold on was it not Neil A N cat now if that's on the enter key it should show up this animation of a cat that came from the mems virus <laughs> if I do control C I should now be able to do something like NASA maybe okay so it does come with NASA um does it come with Python and what version does it come with so if I type down Python maybe if I just write down there. I think it does come with Python support, doesn't it? Um, but it doesn't seem like it's working. And now let me see if they have those basic functionality. So if I do ls, it's left out all of the directories as well as all the files. If I now do cd, and if I go into the Doom folder, this will allow me to go there. And it does. And now I can do ls and it's list out everything that's within, from, within the Doom folder. So it does have some basic functionality that would expect it would have if we were from Linux and it works pretty well. <laughs> um, I would rate this operating system maybe a 6 out of 10. The user interface is pretty nice. It's meant to be like a lemon themed operating system. Um, obviously there could be some improvements. Um, the application for the lemon manager, yeah. With a device manager, as you guys can see, it does not display the devices. It doesn't display anything, making the software useless. Um, so hopefully they will improve on that. I'm also for Snake Game. Make sure he does eat the lemons um, just to keep up with the theme, really. That would be pretty cool. Does the snake will be eating some lemons? Um, and there's a couple of issues with the text editor. But apart from it, it's a great operating system. It has a very nice user interface. And it's just very easy to use in general. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please put a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.